Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with episode number 17 of the Chelsea career mode here on Xbox One and we're in the January transfer window of course and we did receive an offer in the previous episode of £37.5 million for Wan Mata from Liverpool and I counter offered 55 because uh, I wanted to, if we were going to sell Wan Mata, like I say, we want to get at least £50 million for him so we can bring in a player like Marco Royce etc. So uh, I counter offered, counter offered 50 again for 46 and uh, hopefully they will meet that valuation. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But the first game of the episode is an absolutely huge one. It's Manchester United visiting the Brits. As you can see, we are fifth in the table. But a win will take us fourth and into those Champions League spots because we do have a game in hand on Spurs above us. So fingers crossed we could get off to a good start. But, as you can see, Robin Van Persie scores an absolute screamer and we get off to the complete opposite of a fantastic start. With Robin Van Persie absolutely smashing one into that top left-hand corner and I try to show him onto his right foot because you think, it's rock RVP, it's not that good on his right foot. Apparently, yes he fucking is, absolute screamer. So we went all down early on and Man United were really on top of me in this first half. I was struggling to, uh, to keep them out on my half because I just could not get any possession of the ball. They just passed it around really 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 nicely exploiting the flanks whenever I try to go narrow with the defence and then whenever I uh, kind of opened up my defence a little bit they were looking for those runs in the channels but one run in the channel was Kevin De Bruyne their first half stoppage time I still don't know how he's missed that chance and I was fuming at him absolutely livid that we weren't able to catch him on a counter attack but as you can see from the stats we didn't deserve anything from that first half whatsoever so I tried to step it up second half and uh, as you can see Sherl is cutting into the box it's a poor cross initially but Willian's going to pick up the rebound lays it into Ramirez gives it a whack and into that top right hand corner it goes and we're back on level terms on the hour mark a very very similar goal to uh, the one that Vidal scored in the previous episode against Tottenham Hotspur in that uh, Capital One Cup semi-final or first leg that first touch just to get it outside of your feet so you've got enough to take one step and smash it and that is exactly what Rambo did delighted with that goal when we were trying to put the pressure on him from there on in Eto's going to try and play in Vidal similar kind of effort really first touch get it out of his feet set it up nicely for a shot but unfortunately both that shot and the follow-up shot were well blocked by Man United but they're on the attack towards the last 10 minutes this is an absolute textbook counter-attack. Willian using his pace down the right-hand side. Plays it inside one defender. Eto first time we've got a man over Kevin De Bruyne. Can he make up for his effort in the first half? You bet your arse he can. Absolute fantastic strike. It's set up beautifully from that first start. So perhaps wasn't the best of touches, the uh, the first one from De Bruyne. It just kind of bubbled up. But fortunately, it, uh, it ran on a little bit from him. And he had the pace to get away from the defenders. You can see there in that second replay. Sits up gorgeously. Just to absolutely smash. Cross the goalkeeper into that that far left hand corner and uh, absolute classic against Man United fantastic game 2-1 victors we ran out in the end delighted to get three points and that is massive for our season so hopefully we can go on from strength to strength but we get an offer for David Luiz a disappointing effort or offer rather from Sunderland eight and a half million for a player of David Luiz's quality absolutely no chance that uh, he's going to be going and unfortunately absolutely no absolutely no chance that Wamata is going to be leaving Liverpool weren't keen on the counter offer of 50 million so uh, they won't be matching that bid and Wamata stays at Chelsea Football Club but we uh, we don't have too much time to dwell on that because uh, we've got another game a huge game at home against Newcastle United two really really big games in this one now Newcastle were the first team to beat us domestically in the, in the league season we went quite a few games unbeaten before uh, Newcastle beat us 1-0 away from home at St James's Park and as you can see we are sat just behind them in the league they're third we're fourth we're a point behind so if we can win this we can then leapfrog them and go third in the league so if we could do that then that'd be a fantastic episode going up two places in two games but again we get off to a poor start early on it's Moussa Sissou Soko this time to score an early goal in the 11th minute. Took it well and uh, kind of moved it from his right foot to his left foot to get it underneath Petitek as he came rushing out to him. We are unfortunate there to, uh, to go 1-0 down. But unlike the Man United game where we then played particularly poorly for the rest of the first half, we were right back on it. A fantastic first time ball from Eden Hazard. Puts it beautifully on a sixpence of Fernando Torres to head in. Getting in between those two centre-backs absolutely beautifully. The amazing run. You can't really see it too well from that first replay. But this second one, you see he's just in between the two. The accuracy of the cross is just out of this world. Pretty similar to a Soldado's ball across for Adebayor for his 
first goal against uh, Southampton yesterday for Tottenham. Right in between those two centre-backs. Beautiful header as well. And we're back on level terms just a couple of minutes after they went ahead. And Torres is going to come close to getting a second here as well. Nice turn of pace to turn away from the defender. Runs around him. Decent strike as well, but unfortunately can't quite find that bottom corner. And it flashes past that far post. But Newcastle are definitely a team that are going to pose threats. And the positional sense of my defenders there was completely woeful. David Luiz not um, getting anywhere near... Gufran and then fortunately when it dropped to Lert Remy he smashed it wide rather than into the back of the net but we made some positive changes at half time I bought on a Sherlet for Oscar moved one matter from left mid into the cam roll and then put Sherlet out wide to give us that extra little bit of pace and Eden Hazard there unfortunate not to put us 2-1 in front that was a great first time effort and Tim Krull pulled out an absolutely top draw save down to his right hand side to keep us at bay but Newcastle were showing that uh, they still were a threat going forward Yoan Kabai turning went on the edge of the box unfortunately for him not really able to get the sort of power behind it that he might have wanted but Musa Sissoko picks up on a, a mistake at the back and again we're really really lucky not to have gone 2-1 down there coming into the last five minutes and uh, it's really really all on it's now or never if we're going to get a win out of this one Fernando Torres play through by Arturo Vidal gets the shot away Tim Krull gets a foot to it but it isn't enough to stop it from crossing the line Fernando Torres wins the game for Chelsea at home against Newcastle United As you can see what it means to the fans they're going absolutely bananas Bananas behind the goal there. Really, really fantastic scenes. What a ball from Arturo Vidal. Fired it right through the middle of those uh, Newcastle defenders. Tim Krull will be disappointed with that. As you can see, this effort shows it quite well, actually. That may have been going wide, and uh, the, the foot from Tim Krull actually deflects the ball further towards the centre of the goal and we are able to pick up three points from this one it's all about Fernando Torres at the minute he's scoring so many goals for us right now really making up for the loss of Diego Costa thanks to that broken ankle so as you can see we are able to push up into third place in the league and we're only a point behind Liverpool in second although Manchester City they're just running away with it 19 wins four draws and no defeats so far 12 points clear with the game in hand mental absolutely mental from city this year but that is going to bring this particular episode to a close guys so please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind that'd be absolutely superb if we could hit 60 again i will love you forever and a day and of course if you aren't subscribed to the channel then feel free to do so there will be a link in the description and an annotation on screen over that subscribe button and if you missed the previous episode from last friday then there is an annotation on screen over that snippet of gameplay as well and of course do feel free to follow me on twitter at chesnoy gaming there is a link to that in the description as well but that is for today guys i will see you tomorrow with another episode so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time